Greetings everyone, this is Jeff. Today is Friday, December 3rd, 2021. I'm here at the Georgia Bureau of Investigations here in Moultrie, Georgia. This is the Georgia Bureau of Investigation Division for Forensic Sciences, Southwest Regional Laboratory. And look over here, we can see Old Glory's flying at half mast and we have the Georgia flag also flying at half mast. Uh, Moultrie, Georgia is the place where I was arrested a few years back a couple years ago, we're holding the uh, Fuck City Hall sign. I'm just sign. expressing my free speech I rights. Stated, Matt, I think it's vulgar. I think it's low class. I'm very disappointed somebody would do that. Okay, that's your opinion. That's absolutely, and I have the right. I'm very opinion. disappointed that you won't stand up for my civil rights and tell these guys to back off as a city manager. I'm giving you the opportunity to do that right now. They're stand up and listen to me. You're the city manager. Listen to me. You're the city manager. Tell these guys to stand down and back off. I will tell they will follow the law, the city ordinance, okay. and I don't interfere with that. What's going on? I just talked with my lieutenant, and yes, I told him that you were out here having a great debate with our city mayor. And he told me we're not going to have that kind of stuff going on in the city of Moultrie. So you put your sign down, turn around, and place your hands Okay, I'll leave then. No, you're going to place your hands behind your back. You're being locked up for disorderly conduct. For disorderly conduct? Yes, place okay. your hands behind your back. Take us to the county jail. Tip them. Okay. Lieutenant Cox said that? Yes. Okay. Now we do have a city ordinance about vulgar language. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is it's it's well within your rights to have you know your protest and all that, but the language is an issue. That's where it's at. Yeah, I'm not answering any further questions. I, I I will advise you guys to make sure you double check with this because right now you're in violation of my civil rights. I'm really not, but that's okay. Yeah. We had the discussion the other day about uh, about vulgar language and stuff. Disorderly conduct. Here's a prime example. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's it's great. Now he's uh he's doing this this hey, civil rights thing. Yeah. Um, he, he said several Very times, I just want to advise you, you're in violation of my civil rights and this and that. And I said, no, you're you're within your rights to protest. But the language is where the where the, where the issue is. Yeah. So and also you have to have a permit yeah, approved exactly. by the city manager to protest. Exactly. And he was sitting there talking to the city manager. The city manager was cool with him, just explaining to him, you know, all nine. And you know, it's like I told him, there's no issue with you protesting. It's the language. Yeah. So. And you have to get a permit. Yes. You guys may remember that. I have recently filed a lawsuit against the city of Moultrie regarding that, and we have agreed to a settlement. I'll be releasing the. Uh, specifics of the settlement here pretty soon but part of the settlement i will go ahead and say is that the city of moultrie was to receive first amendment training uh, to recognize first amendment protected activity and not interfere or arrest people for being engaged in first amendment protected activity so i'm going to get some video here of the georgia bureau of investigation uh, forensics laboratories here in moultrie georgia and we'll see uh mo what i'm thinking is a most likely come out, confront me, and then they'll probably call the uh, Moultrie, City of Moultrie Police Department. So we might have a good little chance here to see if the town of Moultrie, the City of Moultrie has taken their First Amendment training seriously. Let's see how it goes. Let's see, it looks like an employee entering the secure area back there. And uh, let's go see if we can observe gate operations. Uh, these places always seem to be concerned about filming gate operations. All right, when that vehicle pulled up there, the gate was closed. And she put in a code or had a card or something that caused the gate to open. The gate is now currently open. Something tells me that the gate's gonna close here in just a second. So it appears that the gate here at the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, the GBI Crime Laboratory, it appears that the gate, yep, there it goes. It's in the process of closing. In just a second, it will be closed.
It's, it's closing, it's closing, it's in the process of closing. There it goes, now it's closed. And I have a feeling that that gate's gonna stay closed until the next person that comes to go in there wants to go in there and they, the gate opens to let them in. So it appears that gate operations here at the Georgia Bureau of Investigations Crime Laboratory pretty much operates the same way as it does at my house. The gate is either closed, it's either open, or it's in the process of closing or opening. It's kind of the way it seems to work everywhere. Looks like we have a gentleman coming out to talk to me now. He's probably concerned about me filming their gate operations. So I guess what we'll try to do is, uh, we'll try to find out what's so special about gate operations. It doesn't seem to be special here. I'm all right, how are you? I can't hear you very well, can you speak up? Can I help you? Yeah, sure. Uh, what, what do you guys do out here at this location? Uh, is that on? Yes. I appreciate that being off. Uh, I'd rather not turn it off. Yeah. All right. We'll have someone come talk to you. What's your name? Can you identify yourself, please? Hey, I'll turn it off. You can come back and talk to me. I'll turn it off if you're scared of it. Don't be afraid, little boy. Don't be scared, little guy. I'll turn the camera off if you want. Looks like the Moultrie Police Department is here. there that was afraid of the camera that's called the city of Moultrie Police Department a couple of other state of Georgia guys got another cop out here it's just arrived Hey, how's it going? What's going on? You just here videotaping the GBI investigation building? Yeah, man. Just okay. get some video and some photographs, that's all. Okay. Well, they called, they were just kind of curious, wondering what you were doing. Just kind yeah. of wanted to make sure that you were okay. He didn't want to talk to me. He stormed off on me. Okay. <laughs> you off to Ruiz? Ruiz? Corporal Ruiz, yes, sir. Corporal Ruiz, okay. Yes, sir. I remember you, man. I remember you. <laughs> Are you the gentleman from three years ago? Yes, I am. Okay. okay. You, you the First Amendment guy? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Jeff. I'm, I'm Sergeant Wood, Moultrie Police Department. Sergeant, how you doing? Hey, nothing going on today, man. Just They, they got a little nervous because okay. you were videotaping employees and all. So that's all it was. Okay. Just, he said you can videotape and all. Just, just don't go in and interfere with their business. Okay? I understand. I have no intention of doing that. Okay. All right. All right. Other than that, just watch out for traffic. Don't get hit by a car. Okay, cool. All right. Appreciate it. Y'all stay safe. Yeah, Thank man. you. All right. 